Hello everyone, my name is Chen, and today I would like to share with you a novel method of using GuideWave technology for the detection and sizing of corrosion under pipe support, which is also known as CUPS. I'm the Regional Head of Marketing for Guided Ultrasonics Limited, with a background in Chemical Engineering and a PhD in GuideWave technology from Imperial College London. I am also a Level 2 GuideWave Inspector with more than 6 years of experience in this technology. GUL are a London-based company and the pioneers of GuideWave technology for inspection, holding multiple patents in this field and possessing more than 30 years of both R&D and field experiences. Corrosion under pipe support, also known as contact point corrosion, is part of the billion dollar problem that the petrochemical industry face. Generally, CUPS is a form of corrosion that occurs in the crevice of the pipe at the support locations. Water is typically trapped in these crevices, which leads to coating failure and eventually metal loss due to corrosion. A classic example would be the Sunoco refinery back in 2009, where cups in a 10-inch pipe led to a loss of containment and ultimately to hazardous and expensive consequences. As an inspector, we can break down cups inspection into three parts. Firstly, we would need to detect and locate the defect. In other words, which supports have cups and which don't. Secondly, we would need to size the corrosion. During sizing, it is critical to measure the deepest defect size or the minimum remaining wall thickness. <laughs> Finally, this sizing information can then be used to determine the asset's fitness for service. In summary, where is the cups? How bad is the worst possible defect? And can we continue to operate this line safely? CUPS is relatively easy to detect by visual testing because it, is ex because it is an external form of corrosion and by definition it is only found at pipe supports. However, very long pipe lengths means that there will be many pipe supports to inspect, therefore a very large inspection area to cover. Guider wave screening is a solution that offers a rapid and reliable way to detect CUPS because we can inspect tens to hundreds of meters of pipe, all from a single test location. Guide wave screening works by attaching a ring of transducers around the pipe, which generates guide waves that travels in both directions in the pipe at the same time. These waves will interact and reflect from both existing features and defects within the pipe, and these reflected signals are then measured and analyzed to give us two important plots. Firstly, an amplitude distance plot that tells us exactly where the defect's axial positions are. Secondly, an unrolled pipe display which gives us information about its circumferential position. Finally, we can also estimate the severity of the defect by analysing the ratio of the black and red signals, which represents two different guide wave modes. Guider wave screening is advantageous because it is a rapid screening method that offers a very high inspection coverage per test location. It also has the ability to inspect inaccessible locations and more specifically at pipe support locations. F furthermore, Guider wave is suitable for applications on rough pipe wall surfaces. Guider wave screening is an internationally and industrially recognized inspection method and can be found in major international standards such as British Standard, ASTM, ISO, and ASME. Once the cups have been detected and located, we will need to size this corrosion, which is the main challenge during cups inspection. This is because typically there is no direct physical access to the damaged pipe section due to the presence of the support. CUPS damage is also generally non-uniform, so an inspection system needs to identify the maximum wall loss correctly. Furthermore, the presence of paint, general corrosion and support pads are unpredictable site conditions which an inspection system must be able to compensate for. Ultrasonic systems are commonly used to detect 
and estimate corrosion size. Typically, a pitch catch configuration is used where one transducer transmits the signal and the other receives the signal. Conventionally, amplitudes of the signal are used to estimate the size of the cup's damage. For example, here we can observe that there is a change of signal amplitude due to the presence of the cup's damage and interaction with the ultrasonic waves. The problem with amplitude-based methods is that there are too many external factors that can affect the measured signal amplitude such as the corrosion shape and presence of coatings or general corrosion that affects signal amplitude. Amplitude-based analysis are also typically not able to size the maximum wall loss in a non-uniform defect, which is often the critical value of interest. Furthermore, amplitude-based methods attempt to size defects by comparing amplitudes to a reference 100% signal from either a calibration block or a good pipe section. This means that any inaccuracy in this 100% calibration value will also make sizing measurements inaccurate. But what if we can go beyond the conventional amplitude-based method? What if we are able to extract the frequency spectrum and use guided wave frequency relationships to quantify remaining wall thicknesses? Well, this is exactly what we have successfully achieved in the field using guided wave scanning technology to size cups accurately. It works by transmitting circumferential guided waves around the pipe and using a frequency-based analysis method to accurately quantify the remaining wall thickness. This is analogous to resonance frequency in a glass full of liquid for an undamaged pipe, or when the glass is full, we can excite a resonance frequency by rubbing the edge of the glass. And when there is wall loss due to cups, or when the glass is half full, the resonance frequency of the glass becomes higher. Therefore, we are using frequency information and not only signal amplitude in order to size the maximum wall loss due to corrosion. And by using a frequency-based analysis, we can accurately capture the profile of the corrosion with high confidence, whether it is a deep but narrow defect or a shallow but wide defect. And by using a frequency-based analysis, our accuracy is not compromised due to signal energy losses, due to coatings or general corrosion, liquid loading, or support pads. We apply our scanning technology in a semi-automatic scanning configuration, which offers significantly improved data collection repeatability and reliability by reducing human errors in comparison to manual handheld scanners. Our guide wave scanning technology has been verified on real X service pipes with cups with accuracies of up to half a millimeter when compared to laser scan results. Our customers have also performed their own independent study and test using our guide wave scanner on machine defect and compared it to laser scanning results. Our corrosion sizing scanner has also been verified to be accurate on online pipes in the field with active cups damage. And this has been verified by lifting the pipe section and directly measuring the size of the cups damage. An example of cups detection using our guided wave screening and scanning technology in combination is presented here in this case study, which consists of a 10 inch diameter pipeline carrying jet fuel. Guided wave screening was used to rapidly detect cups in the supports. The screening results are shown here, where we have successfully identified two out of three support locations that have corrosion under pipe support. This is generally done by analyzing the relationship between the red and black signals at the support location, which corresponds to the flexural and torsional waves, respectively. Once the cups have been detected, we use guided wave scanning to size the corrosion. 
Here, we show the results from the undamaged support and the support with cups damage. And using the sizing data, we were able to help our customers size their corrosion accurately and enable them to perform fitness for service assessment. This guided wave scanning technology is still relatively young and we are working hard at expanding the QSR1's current capability to go beyond simple resting supports. And in the near future, we aim to size corrosion at clamp supports, vertical pipes such as risers, and concrete or earth wall interfaces. I hope that the information shared today provided some useful insight into using guide wave technology for CUPS inspection. Thank you very much for your time and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions.